We're going to take a look at a shared iPad from the student uh, experience. In this case, the student has already logged into uh, a shared iPad that's been assigned uh, to them or to their class. Um, and so now the student has the ability to uh, log into any application on this iPad. Let's say, for example, one of those applications was um, Seesaw. Um, Seesaw class. Once they go ahead and log in, um, that should save their settings uh, on this device so that they don't have to log in again. I'm going to go ahead and click the home button. The other advantage of uh, using a shared iPad uh, is with Apple Classroom. In another video you'll have the opportunity to see how a teacher can use uh, Apple Classroom to be able to facilitate learning with an iPad. Once a student is finished, uh, they can go ahead and um, put the device back to sleep by pressing the uh, power button uh, one time, and that will turn it to sleep. And once they put the device to sleep, they're going to go ahead and uh, open it back up, and they should see that their device is now locked. Down in the bottom right-hand corner, they're going to go ahead and press the logout button in order for them to uh, simply log out of the device.